In trying to predict these capricious changes in weather, we sometimes resort to rather questionable weather forecasting devices, such as an almanac, a crystal ball, a gouty leg, and the law of average. This is the master control room. Electronic maps and view screens display up-to-the-minute pictures of the weather around the Earth. Every hour, reports are automatically received from all points at sea, on land, and in the air. 22,000 miles out in space, three robot satellites train their sensitive television eyes on all parts of the Earth. These pictures are monitored on viewing screens in the weather center. Here in the computing room, electronic machines digest the constant flood of information received from all stations. This is then translated into an ever-changing diagram of the Earth's weather. Forecasts for every sector of the globe are made months in advance. Prediction charts have indicated that a powerful hurricane will begin forming today in the Atlantic Ocean. The electronic weather map shows an intense storm system building up about a thousand miles due east of Miami, Florida. The controller calls for a close-up satellite view of the troubled area. Coco 526, Yankee 2.5. Okay, controller, Coco 526, Yankee 2.5. characteristic swirling clouds of the hurricane are beginning to form. At sea, the waves anticipate the violence to come. The controller calls for a last-minute prediction of the hurricane's path. If control measures are not begun at once, the hurricane will smash across densely populated areas within 48 hours. EST. A hurricane is forming 960 miles east of Miami, Florida. If control measures are ineffective, it will pass inland at Cape Hatteras in 48 hours. Control operations will begin within two hours, but safety precautions should be completed from Cape Fear, north no later than 6 p.m. tomorrow. At Weather Central, the control strategy is mapped out. A ridge of high pressure slants across the eastern United States between two low pressure storm systems. If these two storm centers are intensified, the high will build up along the coast, forming a barrier that will turn the hurricane out to sea. Stand by. Now pulling in satellite number one for visual check of low pressure systems L20 and L21. The operator brings the satellite into focus on the two storms. One centered over Kansas, the other over Labrador. Changing the northeastern low, L21. With the touch of a button, the battle begins. On the ground, chemical cloud seeders begin to work the two storm areas. Robot planes seed the clouds from above. The storm centers over Kansas and over Labrador intensify as seeding continues. Now changing over to Hurricane Center H8. The fury of the hurricane mounts as 100 mile an hour winds lash the sea to a foaming frenzy. All stations, Sector C. Activate Phase 2 Control Plan Delta. Set vapor rockets for 42,000 feet. Execute As an emergency measure, the controller calls for a salvo of vapor rockets to be fired ahead of the path the hurricane is predicted to take. These artificial clouds will block the sun from evaporating more water to feed the hurricane. 
The reports coming into the control center indicate that the diversionary cloud seeding over Kansas is now creating a flood danger. Specially equipped robot aircraft are dispatched immediately to release a high concentration of cloud seeding material into the fringes of the storm. Heavier seeding from the ground also helps to subdue the rain by spreading it over a wider area. The controller calls for another view of the hurricane, which has now moved closer to the coast. Signal out on number one satellite. Ten minute interruption for correction. Have you anything else in the area? Satellite station S1 is approaching area. We'll make contact. S1, S1, this is Weather Central. Request video signal at grid coordinates, Coco. An emergency situation has developed. In an orbiting space station a thousand miles above the hurricane, a crewman sends a temporary picture back to Weather Central. R5S5, thank you. The hurricane has stopped moving toward the coast, but is still intensifying. It must be made to move northward and out to sea. This is a crisis. Aberdeen Station, activate multiple seeding rockets on course 117. The controller decides to fire cloud seeding rockets just ahead of the hurricane, hoping to start it moving. the hurricane begins to shift. All available forces have been brought into play. Now we can only watch and wait. Hours of tension, the turning point is reached. Latest reports indicate the control strategy is successful. At last, the high pressure ridge has settled along the coast, forming an invisible wall of safety. The storm is over. The danger has passed. The hurricane has been defeated, turned away from the land, and left to spend itself harmlessly far out at sea. In the world of tomorrow, weather control will enrich and safeguard our daily lives. In the foreseeable future, we will conquer more than violent storms. We will turn the destructive elements of today into new sources of power shaping the land on which we live. All mankind will benefit. Arid wastelands will be made green and fertile. And vast frozen areas will become productive. To this end, man-made satellites will probe the secrets of the skies. They will be our eyes in outer space.